In this video we'll show how you can create cascading list lookups in a UX component. So the UX component offers several different types of lookups. So there's basically, you can see there's a grid component, an auto suggest, an edit combo, and now there's also edit, uh, there's also a cascading list. So let's show what a cascading list looks like first before we show how you set it up. So we'll go into working preview. And then we'll go to this customer ID field and then uh, open up the lookup. So we get to see a list of countries. And then with, when we move our mouse over the country, we get to see all the cities. And when we move our mouse over the city, we get to see the um, contact name in that city. And then when we click on the contact name, we can see the customer ID. And when we click on customer ID, that's the value that gets uh, filled in. So we'll go here now and move over to say um, Germany and we have all these cities in Germany. And then as we move over the, each city, we see the uh, contact names or the company names in that city. And furthermore, as you can see, as we move over the, um, the item in the list, the sub list opens up or the cascading list opens up with animation because we've turned um, animation on. So there we go, and then let's uh, close that down. So uh, let's go and take a look now at how this was set up. So we go back now to our list, to our edit control here, and we've chosen lookup cascading list, and then we'll bring up the cascading lookup definition. So you can see that we're going against the Northwind customer table, and then we've chosen as our fields, uh, country, city, company name, and customer ID. So the order in which you choose the fields is important because this order defines the cascade. So first we see a list of, of countries and then within a country we see cities and within a city we see company name. And then finally with for a given company name we see customer ID. And when we make our selection that's the value that gets filled in. So the last value in the last field in the list of, of fields here gets uh, filled in. So in addition to that, basically, we've said that the icon column is zero pixels. So each item in the list could have a uh, an icon associated with it. We've said that the drop down list has a pointer and the pointer is positioned uh, automatically. And we've also specified that the list should be computed on an Ajax callback. So let's go now take a look at some other options, including uh, dynamic filtering. So let's go now and uh, you can see now that what we have is when we open up our list now we are seeing all of the countries um, not just the country specified by this drop down over here. So let's basically make this uh, list here dependent on this value in this drop down. So we'll go back here and we'll say that we want dynamic filtering and we want to filter our list on the uh, country field. And we want to say that we want to filter the, where the country is equal to the value in the country dropdown. And since we are picking only uh, certain countries for the list, we can remove country from the list of fields to display. So we'll go here and turn country off. So now we have our cascade goes from city to company name to customer ID. So let's go ahead now and run this in uh, working preview. So we'll go there and choose USA and now we'll open up our list. And here are all the cities in the United States. And then as we move over each city, we get to see sub choices over there. So now let's go here and change this from US to say UK. And now we'll open up our list and we see cities in the UK. And uh, there we go. And uh, we can go and choose a value. So in addition to basing the cascading list on SQL, you can also base it on an XBasic X -basic function, or you can enter a static list of data. And the, the static list is entered with uh, tabs to indicate hierarchy. So in this particular case, the initial list will display alpha, beta, gamma, but then if you choose alpha, you'll see alpha one, alpha two. If you choose alpha one, you'll see alpha one dash one and alpha one dash two. You can also go with a more complex example where you can see here what we've got is we've got alpha to be displayed, 
but it's, since it's HTML, we can put it, we can give it a span and we can make color green and then we can go also and set icon. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll change our uh, icon column from zero pixels to say um, 25 pixels and we'll go ahead now and we'll run this. So let's go now to working preview. And you can see there's our static list, there's our icon column, there's our icons, and there's our um, data. So when we make our selection there, that's going to get uh, filled in. So the ability to create these cascading lists is a very nice and powerful addition to the lookup feature in the UX component. Thanks very much for watching.